Hey, welcome back to G Council, man. We got another one for you, man. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, yeah, because ultimately it helps the channel grow, man. But um, yeah, we're going to try a little something different. We're going to talk to y'all about some of the things, especially that we see in the news, man. And um, we know this whole topic has been trending, trending heavy. Um, <laughs> what Grant Cardone said, you know, 35K a month isn't no money. Um, it definitely makes me laugh, definitely makes me chuckle because I'm like, dang, I ain't making no money because that's ultimately my goal for this year is to get to the point of making 35K per month. So Brent Grant just basically spit on my face and told me that ain't no money. Um, so I need to shoot higher and go higher. Um <laughs> when you heard this, what did you think? How did it make you feel? Uh for me. I, I know that Grant is a real good marketer. Um, and, and, and so some with that, you know, you say things that I'm, and he might very well mean it. Like, so don't, so it's not that he not saying stuff he don't mean, but he know that, you know, when you say certain things, you're going to get a reaction from people. And it's because if the majority of his audience don't even make 120, 120,000 then and then when you also look at the statistics you know um I'm up on the ballpark it the total household income you know 70,000 70 ish a you know in single individual person making 40,000 45,000 and these are the you know type of individuals that's watching him for the most part yes it's the high level high level business owners where he's doing masterminds some of them are showing up but like they ain't, they're not spending all that time on YouTube watching YouTube videos. Like, let's be clear. They may pop in here and there, but they they literally out making things happen. So, yeah, I, I'll, for Grant, for Grant, I just look at it as a source of inspiration. I don't, I don't really think it, I don't, I don't take it much deeper than that outside of like getting offended or things like that. Like, the reason it may strike a chord with people is because you you don't make that you know type of thing you know what I'm saying you feel some type of way about that and it just was a reflector of you wanting more and but you in your scenario and you like dang kind of like what you said man you just spit on my goal like what that's what I <laughs> but but for real realistically though for most people that's probably more than enough uh, and. Because, I mean, when people, when you write down, like, what things that you want to do, typically, to Grant's point, you got to 10x it because you probably aren't thinking big enough. Because, like, if you, if you actually ask somebody the things that they wanted to do, and then you actually made them put pen to paper, you'll realize that, oh, I thought I needed to have millions and millions and millions of dollars to do that. It's like... No, not for that. You know, what what, what you're wanting to do, like, you're like, oh, well, you know, I want to travel a couple times a year. What else you want to do? Oh, I want to do this. What else? I want to do this. And you start tallying it all up. You're like, oh, 35000 a month? I could do all of that, <laughs> you know, type of thing. Like, you know, so it's like, but the thing, what I, what I will say is, as you, because me, I chase growth. So I realize with that, it's never going to stop. Like, mm -hmm. I remember you get the six figures. It's like, okay. Huh. How do I get the multiple multiple? But then I, I know me. Multiple multiple. I'm going to, like, I'm going to always be pushing, pushing. And so you have to be mindful to, to be in the now and be okay with where you are and keep stretching for the future in all areas of life, we talking about finances now, but, and also, cause also what I happened too is like, once you set your thermostat there, you start kind of feeling good about it. Now you kind of leaving some of the scarcity behind the lack behind and you would just start adjusting your lifestyle a little bit. Then you like, you start feeling comfortable and then you're like, you know what? More. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but because now you, you know, now you have in these luxuries, then you like, and you looking around, now you might, 
even be connected with other people and you getting different information and different exposures. Like you kicking it. Now you done got a custom, you take a first class flight or two, but then you get around other people, you know, and they inspire you in a certain way. Not that you want to be them, but you like, Man, I'm just I'm doing first class here and there. They like, no, that's all we way we fly. You like, what? And they like, you could do it too. You like, I can. Okay. Let me let me and if you want to do it, then you do, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's that element too of when you start getting around people and exposures that they people just simply inspire you because you like, yo, I wasn't thinking big enough. And so the point of me saying all of that is I just think it's really great saying you ain't thinking big enough. Like. Okay. And I and I don't think nothing wrong with that. Um, I don't. I, I'm always, I always kind of watch. I always kind of have a flag up anytime when anyone is talking in definites on any side. Always, never. Like I'm always, because it depends. Everybody's situation is different. Like some people are not interested in doing the net the work that it's, it would take to do what he's talking about. They ain't interested in that. Like, that's the one, that's a tenth of a 1% hmm. type of, you know what I'm saying? Like, hello, right. the average household income is $70,000. That ain't nowhere near $35,000 a month. Come on, man. Like, we gotta, like, yeah, I mean, you know, of course it offended a lot of people, right? So, um, that's why it offended a lot of people. Right, because of you know, some people. Let's just be clear. A lot, most people, not even some, most people. Even him saying that, that's just not a goal that you know most people would even make, um, in their lifetime of making thirty five thousand dollars a a month. So, you know, it it kind of hit different, um, you know, with him saying that. So you like it, and I think it depends on your mindset, right? Where yeah, yeah. if you have a mindset of I'm trying to get it. And, and that growth mindset, you know, you're not going to take it any type of way. You're like, all right, I'm going to hit that goal and I'm going to keep going because I'm the same way as you. Every goal that I've hit, I realized that I wanted more. And it's so funny because I learned this in my 20s and I didn't even understand it at that time. I was told that, Adrian, you keep setting goals you're never going to be satisfied. You're never going to be happy. Like once you hit a goal, you set another one. And I'm like, okay, I, don't, I mean, yeah, you're supposed to hit goals. Like, no, everybody don't think like that. And I'm just like, yeah, they do. You know, you, you, you set goals, you hit them. That's what life is. No, some people are comfortable where they are. Nah, I didn't really understand that until I started getting a little older where it was like, like you just said, you know, the goal was to, to ultimately hit those six figures, right? And you're like, yeah, like life gonna be sweet once I do. Right. Like I'm like, yeah, this gonna be the <laughs> one. This that's gonna be the big this, one. Once I hit this, I can, yo, I can start going into cruise control. And I hit it. And I'm like, oh, wait, hold up, wait a minute. This ain't what I thought it was gonna be. This ain't it. Like. I I thought this was when I was going to have a, a moment and I don't wait a minute. I got to recalibrate. I got to figure some things out. And so from there, you know, you continue to go more and more because to me, what six figures to do is six figures is going to introduce you to some differences, right? It ain't going to afford you like what right. you may be thinking, but it's going to introduce you to the change. And from there, you're going to be like, oh, man, you know, you you because now you can go to five star restaurants. Right. Might not be able to go all the time, but right. you can go from time to time, introducing you to a whole another life. Right. You might be introduced to, you know, certain type of clothing, you know, certain type of luxuries. That's that's what six figures is going to do. It's going to introduce you to a different type of luxury. But then guess what's going to start happening? Yeah, but, but, but wait, but let's qualify. When we, people say six figures, is that lower end six figures that not, you know, 999,000? Uh, no, we're you talking know, lower uh, end six figures. We're talking about okay. just making it to the 100, 110, 120 mark. Got you it. know, it's going to give you a little taste of some of the finer things. 
which is then going to make you say, I, I, I want this a little bit more. You know, I, I, I want to be able to take trips, but I want to be able to stay in a nicer hotel. Right. I want to be able to not sit in, in, in the back and coach like on a freaking 12 hour flight. Like that's horrible. Right. So it, it just starts to make you think about some of these different things that you're able to kind of do. But now you want to do it in abundance. Right. You don't want to have to cap yourself. So you're like, OK, I'm going to have to make more money because now also once you start being introduced and that's why I say introduced to the six figures, it opens you up to a class of people as well that you're starting to see where they may be on the other end, you know, where they're making 250, 300. And you looking at how they living and you like, yeah, I got to get there. And so it keeps you trying to grow to, you know, we're trying to figure out what is this magical number um, that we can chase to make us feel some kind of way. Now, back to what you said. One thing that I did was I wrote down what I wanted, you know, based off of, you know, with me and my family. Like, okay, based on the trips that I wanted to take yearly, you know, take a trip with my wife, take a trip with the kids, right? Um, and then we may take another trip. So two trips with the wife and then a whole family trip, you know, the type of house that I wanted to live in, right? All of these things, just adding it up, adding it up, what that would cost, the type of car I wanted, everything. And then seeing what that would be on a monthly. A lot of times we will realize like, oh, you might not be that far off from your goal, but guess what? I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. Once you get there. You're, you're going to reset. Gonna... Most people, like, I ain't going to say most people, depending on how you are, your mindset, if you like all about always getting better, <clears throat> doing more, you know, it just is when you get there, because some, some of it is like a personal challenge to yourself. Like, can prove, not necessarily prove, I hope you're not trying to prove to anybody else, but like, you might be like, dang. What else am I capable of? Like that, like I'm still here. What mm -hmm. else can I do? Like, man, fitness goal. All right. You you you're down, you got 13% body fat. You should be content. That's probably you looking good better than most, probably. Yeah. I want that. I want that 10. How can I get the 10? 10%. Then you get the 10, then you're like, but I think I can get that nine though. Yeah. Going back to the finance, it's the same thing. Like if you have that mindset of like always things are going well with your family, but you like, I, I still want that other edge. Like, how can how can it be one notch better? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it just doesn't stop. So no, that's the way I interpret it. It, but yeah, you spot on like with goals and when you write your stuff down, introductory to six figures. And yeah, because you could be you could fool yourself even like once you get there, but which is a great, it's great because first let's be clear, you're in the top 10% you get there. Now, but you ain't in the one percent being there on the introductory side of, uh, you know, six figures, early six figures, uh, low end six figures, because it's almost kind of, it could trick you if you let it, because you can afford the payments, but that's all you got. Like to comfortably invest, like a person should do an exercise, like, Write down $100,000. Like, do the math. Like, I, if you actually do the math and you start subtracting away the money, you're be like, oh, okay, I see. I see what you, I see where you're going. And then do the math at 250. See what that look like. And you start like, okay, well, I, I know I want to do this. I, I, I want to invest this amount. Okay, I got kids, so daycare is going to be 40 grand off the top. 30, 30, 30, 40 grand off the top. Uh... I want to get a nice whip. If you want to finance it, that's fine. What? I mean, that's your thing. Cool. Whatever. Or you like, no, I want to say pay cash. Do the math. Like, and you just start itemizing everything out and you start realizing like, oh, okay. 
this ain't enough based on what you want to do though like but everybody want to do different stuff like i get it like if you're making 40 that sounds absolutely insane for grant to say that because you're like i'll be good at six figures but it's only because of the current place that you're in and you just can't and you can only see as far as where you're at right now until you're able to reset. But no, anybody's lying to you if they tell you they get to 40 and they say they want to be done. That's not, I, I, it, I'd be hard pressed to believe that someone, if you put them in position to get 75, they wouldn't take it. Then they get that 75, they get comfortable with it. They, they mindset shift a little bit and, and, and it level up a little bit. They're like, you know what? Six figures. You know, like, did they do that? And so, like, and so Grant hasn't always been Grant. You know what I'm saying? Like, now he's saying stuff. It may seem that he might be kind of far removed, you know, because you a person can get there, too, and they just start saying stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could possibly get, you know, you could possibly get so far removed from scarcity, and so you're saying things. But then you're talking to that, you know, talking still talking to the average person. You know what I'm saying? You talking to the 16 year old grant or the 20 year old grant. For me, I'm I'm a tough love type of person. Like so, meaning like you communicating tough love to me and just it doesn't bother me. Like I can receive it. And be like, Dang, all right, I need to all right, I need to get on my grind. I need to level up. But some people they don't like to be communicated that way. They want you to chew it up in baby food and like oh it's okay that you're you know you barely getting by you know god gonna work it out for you like some people prefer the baby food version i just want the truth like you know somebody that's making six figures because of some of the things the luxuries that i'm starting to like like enjoy i'm like for me can't speak on nobody else I don't know about 35, but I'm going to push for it. But, but not because Grace said it, but because I know some of the stuff that I want to do, I need to make money. Like, <laughs> what, like I, I mean, because I don't, I'm, I don't worship money. Like it's a tool, like a tool to be comfortable, a tool to do things I love, to be able to help people I love, be able to give, you know, like, so I just look at money as a tool, but you need that too. Like, so you lying to yourself if you don't need that too. Like, maybe your thing isn't like material things. Maybe it's, maybe you need to get your money up and make 30, you know, whatever that it is as much as you can and keep positioning yourself to keep increase, increase, because maybe there's a charity that you crazy passionate about because they doing great work and the charity needs money. And so I think that's really, I don't want to speak for Grant, but when he's talking, I'm just hearing him saying, from how I'm perceiving it is, you need money to live on this planet. Pretty much. And you kidding yourself if you think all your trouble is going to go away if you make $35,000. Now, uh, uh, a month, it will, but for the people that he's talking to, it's just going to really light a fire in you to, to figure out how you can go to, you know, 50, right? And right. how you can go to 60 and 70. Right. Ultimately, what most people want to do is make, you know, quote unquote, $100,000 a month. Um, So I I get it, you know, it, it, which was funny. You like, ugh, Grant, he just gut punched you. But, um, but also, you know, I'm like you. I, I see money as a tool. And the things that I want to do in abundance, I need it, right? I need it. Um, and I have to have that abundant mindset to, you know, have it all pour into me, um, you know, as well. So you now I, I definitely thought it was funny. I know I saw it having the internet buzzing. So I definitely wanted us to kind of just talk about it, dissect it. Uh, because we know most people, he said that, but most people are not even going to get close to that. Um, that type of income a month so it's gonna light a fire in some some people other people they just gonna be mad because they know ultimately they don't have the mental capacity or mindset to reach that goal but for those people that want to reach that goal 
they can reach out to us. You know, we can help structure you on a plan for you to reach your goals if that's something that you're absolutely interested in. Um, anything you want to add before we end this? No, man. And, and man, try not to be so triggered by what people say, man. Like, you know, be you, man. Like, you know, Grant is Grant. Let Grant do his thing, man. Like, I'm, I'm not defending Grant. What I mean, like, but I don't even know Grant. You know what I'm saying? Like, so to, for him to take up any negative mental space, you know, in, in my comfort, you know, in, in my space, I, I, you know, can't focus on it. It's good talking, but, like, if you really – upset about that you know maybe um the type of people that we like to attract is the type of people that are self-aware and like some of the petty stuff you know like you know live your life man if it's if it don't resonate with you like keep it pushing like it, you know <laughs> but, but for anybody that is it, it is spicy but you just gotta it is what it. He just talking. You know, it is what it is. It, look at it as inspiration, and don't even think much more of it than that. Okay. Hey, man. Hey, for y'all that's watching the video, let us know what y'all think. Do y'all think Grant way off base? He out of touch. You know, with society today, <laughs> or you think that hey, he 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 spot on. It ain't no money. You ain't gonna be able to do nothing with that little baby change. Um, and it's not gonna change your life. All right, man. Thank y'all for showing up again. Until the next time, peace. Later.